Okay, so Banjo-Tooie carries over all the moves that you learn in Banjo-Kazooie, assuming you played it. And seeing as there are 16 moves total from the original game and only so much time to talk about everything, I'm making this video for the purposes of showing what moves were carried over and saving valuable commentary time. Pressing the X button while stationary used to be this really weedy arm flap attack that nobody used because it was useless, but in this game it's a little bit different. Yeah, still pretty useless, but a slight improvement. Pressing X while moving performs a roll attack, which is really useful in this game and improved from the previous game as you no longer lose your forward momentum at the end of the roll. Pressing A to jump and then pressing it again performs the flip flap, but that's embarrassing to say out loud repeatedly, so let's just call it a double jump. Pressing X whilst in the air makes you do the rat a tat which is one of the moves I'll be using most frequently in the game. Pressing left trigger while jumping performs the Beak Buster, which is this game's version of a ground pound. Pressing left trigger to crouch, then pressing X, is the Beak Barge, which I have mistakenly referred to as the Beak Bayonet in the past. The Beak Bayonet is a move we'll be learning in this game, but I'll say no more. Pressing left trigger and then right trigger makes you go into Talon Trot mode, which allows you to go up steep slopes and move around much quicker, but it also makes a really annoying noise. Sorry. Pressing left trigger and tapping the right stick to the right performs the Wonder Wing, which is this game's version of invincibility. You need to collect gold feathers in order to do it. Pressing left trigger and Y makes you shoot an egg forward, and pressing left trigger and B makes you shoot an egg backward. You need to collect eggs to do this. Shock jump springs are pads that allow Banjo to jump up to really high places. The flight pad allows you to fly around in areas where you can find one. You need red feathers to fly and also you can press X while flying to execute the beak bomb. Turbo trainers make you run really fast, so fast that you can run on water, and the wading boots allow you to traverse hazardous areas. Alright, that's all the moves from the original game. We'll be learning a lot more in the future.